when I got diagnosed, um, I used this as a kind of a, a treatment facility. I know it sounds a bit strange, but uh, for me, it was keeping my head straight uh, through quite a dark period. Um, so one of my close friends, uh, Colin Robinson, uh, a doctor, he's uh, the one of the managing directors here, set this facility up. Um, he, he brought me in here, so it saw something in me, and uh, it had flown from there, really, and it's kept my head focused, really. Uh, just helping out here as and when I felt well really more than anything because it's been a bit of a battle the last two years. I, w I want them to become a coach in the first place that's why you know I, I invited them in to begin with and it took about 10 seconds for them to hit the ground and decide to take over and start coaching anyway. So I think for Dave it's just a stage and a platform for him to be him really and, and get stuck in and do what he does and by helping other people indirectly he just helps himself. I think you see it's everything with, with this place it is Keeping fit is massively important for, uh, for me. Trained since I was 16, uh, but also it keeps the endorphins flowing. It stops me suffering with depression, which happened, uh, which I'm not afraid to talk about. Was um, I suffered at the beginning when I got diagnosed um, for two, three weeks. I just didn't move out of my bedroom. I wouldn't get off the couch. I just given up. And it was my wife who actually said, "Come on, you need to sort yourself out here." And we went out for a, just a 5k run, and it was the hardest 5k run I've ever had to do. But it was one of the most rewarding as well because that night, because I hadn't been sleeping properly, I hadn't, oh, there's there so many things going on. That night I slept really well. I suddenly felt a bit better because the endorphins that the, the exercise gives you was flowing around me. And that was a catalyst. And then from there, I just absolutely took off. And as I do with everything, I threw everything into it. And that's why I've made quite a good name for myself here. So yeah, yeah, love, love this place. This isn't the first time that Dave has shown great resilience in the face of adversity. In 2004, he was told he would never walk again after a near-fatal motorbike accident. Not content with proving the doctors wrong by walking again, he went on to win a world title in kickboxing in 2009. Despite showing incredible individual grit and determination, Dave says that his family and friends have always played a vital role. Well, oh, I've put my family through over the years. <laughs> it's unreal. The bike accidents and obviously with the cancer now. But, um, yeah. Yeah, family mean everything to me. My wife's been my rock. My sister and my mum have been there throughout. Every, they come to every meeting, every uh, appointment. Oh, brilliant. It, it extends more than just me, me, me close family. It's, as I said before, it's like Colin, the director here, is like, he's been there every step of the way since my diagnosis. Um, it's the tribe here, as we call them. The, 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 they've been there. Uh, Stu, Chris. They've, they've done uh, sponsored events and the tribe have got behind them and they've, we've been selling bands or they've been selling bands and all sorts and yeah, they're, they're like my family here as well. It's hugely important for Dave to cut through and you know, originally when we opened the first underground we got a load of, of celeb athletes in because Neil and I work in, in elite sports so it's easy to do and it brings people in. You know, we're a different gym now and we wanted something that represented us, that was about us and about our tribe and, and that was Dave the whole way. So I was more nervous asking Dave to cut the ribbon than approaching one of the so-called celeb athletes that we have and, and thankfully the guy said yes. Yeah.